So in section 2.1 of Hatcher, we see that if there is a map like this from X to Y, so there is a map F. So this map would immediately induce a group homomorphism like this. So this map F induces this group homomorphism. So if X and Y are both spheres, you have this map F, then you have a group homomorphism. And since HN, SN and HN, SN, and these are both integers, so this group homomorphism is nothing but multiplication by an integer. So A gets mapped to N times A. So A which is a part of integer, is A is an integer, you multiply it by N, you go to n times a. So this n, this homomorphism multiplication by n, this n is called the degree of the map. So this f star is a map from integers to integers and degree of f star is nothing but this multiplication by n. So degree of f star is this n. So in the section 2.1 of Hatcher, you had these maps f g star was equal to f star g star. So basically so we'll just write now spheres. So you have this map Sn to Sn to Sn. So say you first apply G and then you apply F. So then you have this map. So this map is basically G star F star and then you can say this map is F G star. So uh, say this element A, you multiply it by N, this gets mapped to N A. This map is multiplication by M. This will get mapped to M N A. So F G star is nothing but M times N. And uh, that is what our first criteria is the degree of F G star is nothing but multiplication by m n so a gets multi uh, to m times n so n is degree of g star so this is n and this is m so degree of f g star is nothing but degree of f star which is m times degree of g star which is n so identity map is just uh, one star is just one so if you have a map from Sn to Sn, which is just the identity map. So this will get mapped to Hn Sn to Hn Sn, and this will also be identity map multiplied by one. So degree of this map is one. So this implies that the degree of this map is one. So we are done with these two things. So if f is homotopic to G, so this is homotopic sign, that means that they induce the same homomorphism. So since these homomorphisms are the same, that means degree of F star is equal to degree of G star for F and G homotopic. So we have covered three properties concerning degrees. Now say you have this map F which is not onto. So this map F is not onto. It is taking Sn to Sn and this F is not onto. So that means there is some point which is lying in Sn which is not in the image of F. So you can now write the map this f as map from sn to sn minus p to sn so map f is basically this map f and we are writing it as compos composition of two maps but if you take a point out of the sphere it is homotopic to a simple point so hn sn minus p is zero so now you use this formula here so what do we have we have sn to a point to Sn. This is homotopic to a point. So in terms of homology groups, you have this. And F star is from here to here. So this F star has to be multiplied by 0 somewhere here. So this F star is composition of this times 0 and times something here. But once that is times 0 here, then you have to multiply by 0 which gives degree of F star as 0. So we are going to uh, prove this uh, in 
two or three minutes the degree of reflection is minus one um, so degree of reflection is that you reflect across the hyperplane and now I want to talk about antipodal map so the antipodal map this is a map say alpha from SN to SN which sends a point to its uh, minus P and if you're an SN it is a composite of n plus 1 reflections of the coordinate axis so let us see this uh, uh, what do I exactly mean so say this is this is s1 s1 and there is a point here so if this is point P its antipodal would be here which will be minus P so opposite side so how do you get from P to minus P so first let us draw the axis so say this is the x-axis and this is the y-axis so what is reflection reflection is across the hyperplane so there are two hyperplanes you can say here the coordinate axis x and y so first reflection you go from P reflect across the x-axis you get P1 so this is one reflection and then you reflect across the second hyperplane that is y-axis then you go to minus P so for S1 you had two reflections so these two reflections are corresponding to the two axis because S1 is on two axis so Sn is on Rn plus 1 and therefore it is a composite of n plus 1 reflections just like from to go from P to minus P you have to have two reflections first go to P1 and then from P1 you go to P so reflect across X axis and then reflect across Y axis similarly you keep on re uh, reflecting across n plus 1 axis for SN and each reflection is minus 1 then you have this multiplication formula so you multiply for each reflection so n plus 1 reflections will give you degree of antipodal map as minus 1 to the power of n plus 1 now the only thing left to prove is that the degree of reflection is minus 1 so we start by drawing a two sphere so say this is s2 this is the equator the equator is s1 as you can see the top hemisphere you call as A bottom hemisphere you call as B so top is homotopic to a point bottom is also homotopic to a point and uh, we can write something like this so this A intersection B is our S1 this is included into A which is in turn included it's also included into B and these two are you take their union you form s2 so we are writing in this format because now we want to apply the meyer vitoris sequence so let us apply the meyer vitoris sequence for uh, this s2 part so basically uh, we start with a intersection b so you have h2 of a intersection b you go to h2 of a direct sum h2 of b then you go to h2 s2 then you have the uh, partial map this will lead you to h1 a intersection b and then you can further go down to now we are back to this part h1 a direct sum with h2 uh, h1b and the sequence will continue now notice that this is 0 because a and b are homotopic to point so h2 this is 0 this is 0 similarly h1 this is 0 and this is 0 so what you get is you get an isomorphism here so this delta is isomorphic h2 s2 this is ISO to H1 A intersection B is S1 so now you can do this for uh, any N so I have just drawn S2 here instead of S2 you could write SN here so if you write SN here this will be 
So you have Sn here and Sn minus 1 here. So in that case, then you will talk about Hn, Sn and then there is a delta map here. So A intersection B is always Sn minus 1. So you will have Hn minus 1 Sn minus 1. So this is the delta map and because you will have points coming in here behind this will always be so behind this Sn would always be direct sum of A and B when you write the Meyer white heuristic. So behind this Sn will be direct sum of A and B which would be 0 and after this Sn minus 1 this Sn minus 1 there will be direct sum of A and B again. So this A intersection B is going into A and B so direct sum of A and B would be there which is 0. So you always have a ISO like this. So now you consider this diagram right here. So you have an ISO right here and you have an ISO right here. So if there is a reflection map and there is a reflection map here. So reflection map of SN is like this. So we are basically considering a naturality diagram now. So what we have done is we have basically taken the map of reflection SN to SN and transferred it to this long exact sequence. So you have these two reflection maps R star and R star. So if these two are ISO then these two maps will also be same. So these are same maps because of the commutativity of the square. So that means degree of R star is same as degree of this R star. So if this R star multiplies by some integer this will also multiply by with the same integer. And we are saying that this multiplication of R star this is going to be minus one. This is what we want to show. So we are going to use induction. So uh, we keep descending down all the way to this H0 level. So we will show that this is minus one. This is multiplication by minus one and then we are good to go. Now notice that at H1 and H0 level we cannot write isomorphism. You cannot write isomorphism here. Why you cannot write? Because this uh, these points are not zero. See, H0 of a point is integers and uh, HI of a point is zero for I greater than zero. So that is what we have been using previously here and here this is what we have been using but at here we cannot use that. Anyway so now let us come to uh, this figure. So let us draw S1 first. So this is how S1 will look like and then we have two points say you have point P here and then you have point Q here. So this is side A this is side B. So both A and B uh, they are homotopically equivalent to a point. This is a point and this is also a point. So this A and B are both integers you know this is integer direct sum with integer. So H0, H0 consists of these two points P and Q. So this is also Z2. So there are points P and Q right here. And uh, so these P and Q, so this A and when A contracts, it will get these two points together. When B contracts, it gets these two points P and Q together. So we are going to write it as P minus Q comma P minus Q. So what is the kernel of the map? The kernel of the map is precisely when P is equal to Q. So that is integers. So kernel of this map is integers. So now you know that this H1, so kernel of this map is integers. So you know this uh, kernel, this kernel is equal to image of this map. So this H1, S1 is also integers. So now we only have part of the story covered. So what does this reflection do? So reflection here is very easy in H0. It is just going to interchange P and Q. So these two points are going to interchange. So let us write instead of PQ, you will write Q and P here. But this map remains the same. So instead of, so you have QP, so now you will have Q minus P and Q minus P because the way you are acting on in this direction the same way you act in this direction because these two sequences are precisely the same they are just being connected by a reflection map so this is the reflection map which we are connecting it so that is what we did here we did a reflection 
and we want to find we want to show this is multiplication by minus 1 but this comes precisely from here so you have to multiply this z2 with minus 1 you have to multiply this by minus 1 to get here p minus q times minus 1 is q minus p p minus q times minus 1 is q minus p so again these two maps are precisely the same so this minus 1 gets transferred to this minus 1 and by induction now this minus 1 will get transferred to this minus 1 all the way to here then this will get transferred here and we are done so degree of reflection is minus 1